A sex scandal at Gamble Rogers Middle School in St. Augustine. A mom telling news for Jax her 12-year-old daughter was forced to have sex with a male classmate inside a school restroom. She says she learned about the incident hours after it happened on the last day of school before the Christmas holiday break. She has filed a police report and now detectives are investigating. News for Jax reporter Eric Avigny has been following this story all day. And to protect the identity of the girl, we're not identifying her mom and we've altered her voice. Eric? Yes, the mom I spoke with is even more upset tonight after learning today that her daughter has now been in fact suspended from the school along with one of the boys who took part in that act uh, who she says admitted to everything that went down. Now the mom says she is on the verge of pulling her child out of that school. While St. John's County school officials are not commenting about what allegedly happened inside a boy's bathroom here at Gamble Rogers Middle School, the mother of a 12-year-old girl is not holding back. It'll make you very angry. It'll make you cry in your eyes. I mean, like, I mean, who, who, who would ever dream that that would happen to the kids? I mean... A 12 year old. She says back on December 20th, she learned her 12 year old daughter was talking with two male classmates who coerced her daughter into going into a boy's bathroom as part of a game. She says once inside, one of the boys wanted her to have sex with him. She said she didn't want to, and they said, or the boys said that um, she had to. The sex allegedly happened, and the girl's mom feels her daughter was bullied into giving into the boy's demand. The mom says the boy who had sex with her daughter admitted to school officials what happened, but she says he and the other boy who was involved need to pay a consequence for their alleged actions, regardless of their age. And boys don't belong there right now. They shouldn't even be in the school right now. They should be pulled out. As far as I'm concerned, they should be suspended or um, just not allowed back right at this time. Now, school officials are keeping quiet about this incident to prevent violating the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act. A spokesperson for the school district did say consequences were applied, but that was it. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.